haven't seen these since I was a very little girl. These are my mother's favorite flower, Lily of the Valley. Hill Park. Um, again, this is one of those fast tracks, the Falls Area single track. So it's primarily a bike trail, but it's open to hikers. It was a little bit difficult to find. I had to walk around the park a little bit to find the uh, terminus, but it's actually pretty cool in here. It's all like manicured park all around here, and then you walk two steps down this trail, and it's you're in the middle of the woods. Really, really cool. I'll give you a little tour. a stop sign on the trail not something you see very often um, but since this is a bike trail and we're crossing a um, sledding hill sliding hill I'm sure this is meant for the winter time when people are sliding down the hill so but I'll stop and I'll be cautious I have seen a lot of game trails out here but not many tracks a few not many not like there were everywhere at some of the other parks. But this is also a dog park, and I have seen dogs out here this morning. So maybe they're just hiding from the dogs. Or maybe it's just been too stinking wet. It rained really hard last night. South of here we had some tornadoes, but not anywhere close to where I am. Let me show you this little creek that it crosses. Anyway, um, so it's kind of, it's a little wet, a little slippery. Um, so maybe they just want to have to deal with the, maybe they don't want to have to just deal with the wet any more than anybody else does. But, Um, we'll see what else we can see. So I found this little picnic spot. There's a little picnic table. Well, a big picnic table. And just this nice little shady spot in the middle of the woods. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to have some lunch. There's lunch, and we'll get and see what else we can see. There's some, uh, come across three now, little side trails that are, there's a lot of side trails on the little map that I have, 
but it's an outdated map and none of these trails are actually marked with names or blazes or anything like that so the only absolutely clear trail that I've been able to figure out is the perimeter trail which is the basically what it is is just a trail that goes around the whole perimeter of the track with all these little side trails that kind of connect the two sides of the trail um, but because it's probably gonna rain soon sorry there's mud here I'm trying to make sure I don't slip um, it's probably gonna rain and I don't want to get lost well I, I couldn't really get lost but I don't want to get turned around well it's raining and um, get soaked trying to figure out the best way to get back to my car so I'm just gonna do this perimeter trail which I think is four miles if I read correctly it was hard to figure out whether it was this trail itself was four miles or if it was four miles of total trails but those little connector trails are super short you know a couple hundred feet um, so anyway I'm just gonna do the perimeter trail which is basically doing the whole park. I'm just skipping those little tiny connector trails. Alrighty. So I'm on the other side of the park now. And um, I'm seeing tons more deer prints, but not as many game trails. So I wonder if they're just using this trail as their trail. But hopefully we'll see something. I haven't seen any dogs in a little while. <sighs> Let's find out. I just want to give a little shout out to the uh, Falls Area Fast Track. They're the folks that built and maintain these fast trails. And being, I've done, walked and been to 79. This is my 79th. Um, Sioux Falls City Park. I must say that these fast trails are the cleanest. I understand that the other parks are having, maybe having some issues with trash because of all the flooding. But the fast tracks would have the same amount of flooding. And these trails are absolutely really just immaculate. I don't think I've seen one piece of trash on any of the Falls Area single tracks that I've been on. Really, really good job. I'm gonna have to look into um, contacting them and seeing if they have any volunteer opportunities for me. Because these trails are really wonderful. I came across a, some evidence of a campfire and then I just found this. It's a little primitive shelter that somebody built. It's been a while. It's caved in on one side, but it's pretty cool. So I meant to go down this trail. This is the trail. It's steep, but fun. But then I'm blocked. This is normally just a little creek and you can walk across that log. I could shimmy across this thing across the water. Um, but I'm just not really prepared to do that. You can see the trail there on the other side of this water. It's just a little bit too much for me to to attempt with the equipment that I have with me. If I had my full AT pack, I'd do it in a second. But I just have a little day pack. I don't have any change of clothes or anything. So, not today, folks. So, I try to get across that little flooded creek going down this trail. I was hoping that it was a little farther down and... It would be shallower 
but it wasn't. So I went down that thing and up that muddy thing for naught. Look at all that mud. You can might even see a slide or two of mine. <laughs> but anyway, onward on a different section of the trail. Maybe a little farther down I can get across that creek. Okay, so I found a spot. It doesn't look like it's too bad. I maybe can go across on this log. Oh, that would be interesting. It's just a little too high off the ground for my uh, comfort. But I can walk down there. I think I'll walk right there and walk across that creek right there. It's really shallow. I have waterproof boots on. It's probably deeper than my boots right there, but it'll be all right. All right, let's see how it goes. Alrighty, I'm back and I'm safe and I'm on the other side. Yay! <laughs> so here's this side. And it's definitely muddier over here. Um, but this is going to be interesting. The, the interesting part, or the most inter interesting part, is that, um, yeah, I get to uh, do that. All over again. Woohoo! I'm pretty sure this is the area where I was trying to cross before, but it was just too washed out. Even down there, it's washed out. But. I can get across right there on that log, that little tiny bit, and continue on to the trail. going on from here that trail is completely covered there's no way around it it's just water everywhere so I'm gonna have to backtrack this is um I'm at the bottom where that log was that um meant to cross over here I'm sure most people cross over on that log but I'm sure the water is not as deep as it is it's not very wide but it's pretty deep I can't really capture that on camera you can see that log way down in there. I'm not sure if that really shows, can show you how deep it is now. But it's probably several feet deep. Three, maybe four feet deep. Um, I'm not willing to get that wet. Not today. So I'm going to backtrack and try a different way. We'll see what happens. Well, fall number one's in the books for today. I didn't fall in the mud, miraculously. I've been doing everything I can to not fall in the mud. And this little branch, I didn't see it, tripped on it, almost hit my face. Definitely landed on my chest. <laughs> but that's just part of it. So, getting back across that was a little bit more difficult than getting, doing it the first time. The steep of the, or the angle of the bank was different. Sorry, I'm going uphill. Um, it was weird enough that I didn't feel safe just kind of going across it. So I took my trekking pole out and extended it as far as it would go. And I actually walked across the log. Um, there was one section in the middle where, um, the pole <laughs> didn't hit anything. Um, but I'm across. I didn't fall. I didn't get wet didn't get muddy and now I'm going up and this is a great great part <laughs> at least there's one bridge <laughs> I say that jokingly there's actually been a few bridges I've been able to cross and I do appreciate that every I do appreciate everything that the um, Falls area single track does to provide this trail for the public <laughs> Nice 
this little bench, but what it actually is, is a trick spot for the bicyclists. Way cool. So I'm now at the end of the trail. Um, you'll see there's also a um, disc golf trail here. I think it's 18 holes. I'd have to look for sure. But back at the park and um, there's also a playground here. So if you wanted to bring someone who didn't like to hike with some kids, they could play the playground while you went and hiked a little bit. Real nice. Pretty, pretty park. Great trails. Really had a good time here. I fell, but it was still fun, and I enjoyed the adventure of going across the water and the logs and the mud, but mud just seems to be the story of my life. I never had so much mud until this year. 2019, year of the mud. Mud on the AT, floods in Sioux Falls. Also met some, a group of about, I don't know, eight or ten teenagers out on the trail today. They were not equipped to be out there hiking in the mud. The boys all had slides on. The girls had Birkenstocks on. I think one boy had sneakers on, but they were white. They won't be white by the time he's done with all that mud. It was a fun, fun venture and a good day.